welcome to the project demonstration of electricity generation through the waste burning so here we are going to getting the power supply from the uh, waste burning we we'll get the uh, like a heat and that we heat will be converted into the electricity with the help of this peltier plate so this is the heat sinks and this is a cool side when we are heating the waste at uh, this section then the generator voltage will be generated from this peltier plate and that is input to the battery pack through this uh, charging circuits as well as parallelly we are going to measuring the how much of voltage is generated from this peltier plate this thermo electric plate that will be monitored on this multimeter as in uh, voltage mode so here the concept is uh, concept is like uh, this thermo electric plate works based on the peltier effect so peltier effect nothing but when we are heating the uh, one side of the peltier plate this thermo electric plate then parallelly we need to cool down the other side of that one then uh, the uh, due to this temperature differences this thermo electric plate will generate the voltage from this pn junction diodes inside that plate and that is nothing but the voltage uh, for charging of this battery once the battery is charging we can utilize that parallelly to the cooling side of this uh, fan we place that and for that we are going to for the supply to on and of this fan and same thing voltage is input to this load dc lights we are going to utilize that for uh, utilization in the grid uh, like uh, customer section and coming to the charging slot there we are providing the two ways of charging two sources for the charging one is from the peltier fx uh, thermo electric plate and another is from this transformer which is used to step down the 230 volt source the household supply is uh, step down to 12 volts of ac and that ac supply input to this charging circuits and from there uh, we are going to convert the ac to dc and the dc is input to the battery pack so if you want to charge a battery just on this uh, power supply to the transformer then it will get fully charged in a duration of 6 hours to 8 hours maximum after that uh, if you forgot to off this charger also this charging circuit will block the current flow from the charger to the battery when it's get fully charged means we can protect the protect the battery from overcharging right and the next is see here we are uh, here we can see the same charging circuits but here this charging circuit will act as a polarity correctors means if you cool this plate if you heat outside also then the current will be changes direction so the polarity will be changes over here so then in order to rectify that polarity we are making use of this four diodes to convert that a uh, polarity correction and after the capacitor is directly input to this 12 volt battery coming to the battery ratings so as we are using the 12 volt peltier plates maximum it can generate the 12 volts so here we are using 12 volt 2 amp battery pack in this one we can see 6 4 volt batteries are present in that 3 3 are connected in parallel so here in this 3 are connected in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp and this 3 in series 12 volt 1 amp and these two in parallel so we will get 12 volt 2 amp dc output so that can be utilized for the dc loads so before demonstration place this multimeter in this direction to check the live voltage and we can provide the heat at this section so when the temperature increases we can observe the voltage also increase over there so if you place the more heat right so we need to place more heat to this side then parallelly we need to on the cooling side fan also in order to protect the peltier plates from overheating at the heating section side right and slowly when the plate is come down to cool then the voltage also will be drops right now the voltage is dropping